move on to the island of Dr. Moreau, uh, 1996. This is directed by John Frankenheimer and features an amazing cast. Uh, Marlon Brando, uh, Val Kilmer, uh, David Thewlis, uh, uh, Faruka Balk, and Ron, uh, Ron Perlman. Uh, this movie is grotesque in the extreme. Uh, it's puzzling at times, uh, but there are moments in the movie uh, where it touches greatness. Uh, it's a minor camp classic. Uh, the film features DNA experiments. There's uh, no surgical vi vivisections around here. Uh, Brando, uh, well, he's an enormous presence in this movie. He's over 400 pounds, and he gives a very perplexing and flamboyant uh, performance. Uh, Stan Winston's uh, uh, manimal effects are, are truly remarkable. Uh, Winston does a, an amazing job in this film. Uh, Kilmer, Val Kilmer, is wasted as Montgomery. Uh, Thulis is miscast as uh, the shipwrecked uh, individual. Uh, Balk is really, really good as the Panther Girl. Uh, she uh, is probably the best Panther Girl ever. Uh, uh, her lovely overbite and her touch of sadness uh, is, is simply uh, riveting in this film. Uh, she manages to be sad and erotic at the same time. Uh, the actors at times seem to be in different movies. It's a very, very uneven film. Uh, it was a troubled production from the start. Uh, there were creative differences immediately uh, between Brando and the film's original director, uh, Richard Stanley, and uh, Rob Morrow uh, from uh, Northern Exposure Frame, who was uh, supposed to play the uh, shipwrecked individual, uh, the Thulis part. Well, he asked for release almost immediately from his contract. Uh, well, it, it's an uh, interesting, unforgettable, unforgettable failure of a film uh, that's worth seeing. Uh, you may not like this movie, uh, but you'll never forget it. it. It's a very interesting failure. All right, let's move on to The Time Machine, 2002, which is directed by Simon Wells, who happens to be the great-grandson of H.G. Wells, and stars uh, uh, Guy Pierce and uh, Jeremy Irons. Uh, the film has little to do with the original novel. Uh, Guy Pierce is a very anorexic-looking uh, uh, time traveler. Uh, who lives in New York circa 1900. Uh, his fiance is killed on the eve of their wedding, and he creates uh, the time machine in order to prevent the tragedy. Uh, tragedy. Well, he can't undo the tragedy, uh, so he can't change the past. So he goes forward uh, uh, hundreds of thousands of years in order to try and find an answer why he, can't change, uh, why he cannot change the past. Well, uh, Irons, Jeremy Irons, is the uber Morlock. Uh, he's heavily made up. He looks like Elric in this movie. Uh, the warrior, uh, Michael Moorcock's uh, eternal champion, Elric. He, he resembles Elric a lot. He has uh, uh, albino-like white hair and albino-like white skin. And he gives an interesting performance. There's a, a cameo by Alan Young. Uh, that, and the film features pretty good effects. But uh, it's not a particularly riveting movie. However, I do recommend this. Uh, it's not half bad. All right, let's go to War of the Worlds. This is 2005, uh, directed by Steven Spielberg. Uh, this is the reteaming of Tom Cruise and Steven Spielberg, who worked together on uh, uh, a uh, cinematic adaptation of Philip K. Dick's Minority Report, which is actually a pretty good movie. I'm not a fan of either Tom Cruise or Steven Spielberg, but I did enjoy uh, Minority Report, and I, I did enjoy this uh, adaptation of War of the Worlds from 2005. Uh, 2005. Now, uh, the film stars uh, Tom Cruise, uh, Dakota Fanning, and uh, Tim Roberts. Uh, Tim Robbins, excuse me. Well, uh, the uh, the Martian uh, word is never actually used in this film, but everyone knows it's the Martians invading. Well, Cruz plays a divorced, uh, beer-swilling, uh, construction uh, New Jersey worker, uh, a very distant dad who's forced together with his teenage son and 10-year-old daughter. He's essentially a dysfunctional dad, uh, the head of a dysfunctional family. Uh, they're forced together for a weekend, and then the invasion hits. Uh, they're essentially on the run. 
uh, and they're dodging the chaos throughout the film uh, as Tom Cruise tries to reach his ex-wife in Boston. Uh, a powerful lightning strike activates the massive underground uh, tr tripods or machines that kill every human in sight. Uh, they're essentially using the human blood as fertilizer to convert our uh, Earth into a more Martian-friendly world. Uh, there's cam uh, cameos by Gene Barry and Anne Robinson, who uh, starred in the 1953 version. Uh, the movie's actually very, very well done. There's lots of action. Uh, there's non-stop special effects. And there's a pretty good script. Uh, the movie has a very creepy atmosphere, and I highly recommend it. Well, uh, that's about it for the film adaptations. I'm going to stop here. Uh, there's a lot. Uh, there's a number of other H.G. Uh, uh, Wells adaptations, but I can't get into. Them.